This is quite a high level question and it's probably classified near the grade A mark. It says prove that 0.4 recurring is equal to 4 over 9. Now you need to do this by using algebra and showing each step you take really clearly. We begin by writing the line let x equal and whatever the recurring decimal is we write it as more of a longhand version rather than the 0.4 with the dot above it. We can see we have one number after the decimal point which is recurring so we then write 10x and if we multiply this decimal here by 10 we get 4.444 and so on. At this point we can now see we have x and 10x. If we subtract x away from 10x, we get 9x. If we subtract 0 0.4444 away from 4.4444, we get just 4. Our final step is the same as solving an equation. Here, I will just divide both sides by 9. So I have now got x equals 4 over 9. This then takes me back to the first line and I have now proved that 0 0.4 recurring equals 4 over 9. Just to show you that it's really the same kind of question no matter how you're asked it, in this case we have proved that 0 0.17 recurring is 17 over 99. I would still start by writing let x equal and I would write the decimal. The decimal would be 0 0.171717 and so on. You can write as many times as you like. But now I have two numbers after the decimal point. So rather than saying I have 10x, I would now write 100x. Two zeros and 100, two numbers after the decimal point. If I multiply this decimal here, by 100 I get 17.171717 and so on. Like I did last time I now say 100 take away 1 so 100x take away 1x gives me 99x and 17.171717 take away 0.171717 just gives me 17. You can see where it's leading as you go through the sum. The final step, x equals 17 over 99. This basically covers all the, the parts the examiner is looking for, and you've now proved that 0.17 recurring is 17 over 99. If you pause the video now and try and have a go at these two proofs and see how your answer looks, I'll write the proof that I would use on the next page. Here's the answer to the first one. And here's the answer to the second one. Check through each step very carefully and make sure you have it written down correctly. If you have, then I'm sure you're quite confident with this now. Made with DoodleCast Pro.